So this is Fume Hood version 3.0. So here's my water delivery system. And if you, this just is filled up from the top. Here, as shown. I'm sorry, just thought the top wrap to show you. Feeds down through. This is a valve that can control, turn off the flow or increase the flow or decrease the flow. Comes through into the condenser, through and down into this 20 litre jug, which is, I think, eight gallons American, five ish gallons, and that's about, ten, about eight gallons American, about six gallons British. And there's ice in the base of that, which cools the water. And then there's a tap here that could be the water get reused. So I have 10 litres sitting by that goes into the feed and comes into here. And by the time obviously I've run to the end of the 10 litres, the water's cooled sufficiently, be poured back into the containers through the tap and reinserted back in. So it's a fully reusable process. Um, I have my setup here for the, my magnetic stirrer. These are my wastes. This is where I place the aqueous waste. This is just spare water for cleaning. I use, you know, if I need to quickly swell something out. Here's my foot, my foot uh, vacuum filtration system. Just plugs into this socket here, which is a foot source. Just push it and works really, really well. Well chuffed with that. Over here I have my weighing scales. This is where I keep drying glassware. Here is the actual filter, the actual vacuum, how the system works. So this, on the end there's a 240, 240 volt fan extractor. Connect this some tube, comes through down to here, clicked onto here. So obviously this has good, good suction here and good suck up the gases. But if you need to increase suction, you just lower this. There's a halfway mark, which it lowers down to, which is about there, which obviously increases flow slightly. And then there's a full lock with these four interlocking pins that lock in like this. One, two, three. As you can see, the flow massively increases when you do that. And I don't know if you can see, but it's actually so powerful. It sucks in like that. So yeah, that is how that system works. Over here, this is where I keep stuff. I keep pestle and mortar just in case. This is my gas collection system. For example, I done a uh, carbon dioxide collection. What I did was I placed, uh, I placed vinegar and uh, sodium bicarbonate in there, and then the bub the balloon fills up. And you take off the bubble at the balloon and you turn it off. Obviously, I have stuff here. Here's my non halogenated waste. Here's my solid waste. That's halogenated waste, but I haven't made any yet. Um, this is just where I keep my little baby magnetic stirrers and I have the cutest magnetic stirrer you've ever seen in your life in here. Look at him! He's a baby! Ah. Uh, here is my aqueous waste. So this is neutralized aqueous waste. So I place it and um, there's a spare containing tubes. There's my acetone and my chemicals. Uh, here I have my emergency uh, eye wash area and here I have my first aid kit gloves and masks and uh, for access, for access. Uh, there's my little sketching board, there's my drying rack where I have calcium sulfate and my aluminium trichloride and my other drying things that are drying. Um, here's where I saw my glassware, here's where I saw my secondary glassware, so it's like my separating funnel, my bigger jars, my boiling tubes uh, and here's just random stuff like a spare bit of tubing I left over and stuff etc etc. Here's my spare pipettes, here's my spare gas collection. Um, there's the rules to my lab. Basically, where well, I've denoted my own symbols for things that I store, safety first, etc. Uh, here is the carbon, the, the, the carbon monoxide detector. Here is my fire detector and smoke alarm. And here's my chair for when I sit down, because sometimes I like to sit down. So, yeah. Um, that's my lab version 3.0.